as the devastation has unfolded, as we all have been watching on reels, on videos, on news, on the Weather Channel, or wherever you get your information from, somehow, some way, you have seen what has been taking place with this whole hurricane that moved ashore and went right up through the south and did the massive devastating destruction to all these towns, cities, landscapes, the whole nine yards. There's still a well over a million people that are without power. Where 60 plus people have passed away and I'm sure that number is going to rise even more by all the video footage that we have seen and the devastation that has taken place from Florida all the way up into Tennessee, North Carolina, Georgia, everywhere up through there, especially the areas that got the torrential 20 plus inches of rain. I have received a lot of emails and asking me, what could we do? What can be done or how can we prepare? And I have uh, been really thinking about this myself and making sure that, you know, for one, I am prepared. Uh, for two, my main concern is everyone out there and I felt compelled to do a video. Now I understand that I haven't been around for a while and we will talk about that at a later date. But what I want everybody to know is this is one of the major reasons why you have to make sure you are prepping and you also have to make sure that you have preps in other areas besides where you live. I saw on the news, on videos and everything else, people got out in bare seconds of their lives with the clothes on their back. Whatever they were wearing, that's all they have left because it the flash floods came in so rapidly, so fast, it took homes and everything. Just wiped towns completely off the face of the map. So, to answer a lot of these questions that I've been getting, what we have to make sure that we are doing is we have to be prepping. We have to make sure that whatever we're prepping, that we have preps in other areas not all in your own home. So hopefully maybe if it's in a family member, it might not even be in the same town, but if you can get to that area or you can get picked up or whatever, or you're able to drive out and get to your safe haven away from your home, then at least you'll have some supplies there to start with, not just the shirt on your back. It all boils down to you have to make sure that you have food, water, you have to have medical, you have to have clothing for whatever time of year it is for the climate that you live in. You also have to make sure that you have any medical. If you have someone that has medical supplies or something like that, that could be a hard one to make sure you have enough of in two different locations, but you need to figure something out because even having a backpack packed and ready in a moment like what these folks have gone through would probably not even mattered. Reason being, some of these people, like I said, they just made it out with seconds to spare. Hence the reason why we have to be preparing. Things are changing in this country Actually, I should say things are changing in this world on a rapidly basis of a daily inquiring of the weather. Um, and people just don't understand this. Now, whether it is whatever you choose to believe, if you think that it's um, Mother Nature going through the cycles just like she always has for the past, no, millions of years, or if there's something else that's driving that, whatever way you choose to think of how this is really occurring and what is taking place, that's fine. The key point is you need to be prepared because things are really escalating to a higher level of devastation and everything else. Now, 
Speaking of which, they're talking that there possibly could be another hurricane, tropical storm, or something else developing this coming week and slamming back into Florida again because the upper atmospheric winds and the wind shear is going to be pushing this into the west coast of Florida. So everybody that's in Florida, and I know I have a lot of people that watch from Florida, you really need to be paying attention to what's going on. However you can get any information, you may not have power right now, you may not have anything. Uh, you may not even be able to use a cell phone because cell towers and stuff still are down in a lot of areas. Hopefully they're going to be coming back up, especially in Florida, but in some of the other areas, they're not so lucky. The key point of my message today for everybody is we really need to be prepping. You need to be putting up supplies like you see behind me. You need to make sure that you have things for you and your family. You are the only one that can change your destination in being prepared. We have always stuck together and we will always stick together. I felt compelled because so many people reached out to me wanting to know if they're doing the right things, if they're prepping the right stuff. And I got lists from people. I got all kinds of stuff. I've got this, this, and this, and this. Do I need more? You know, and you can never have enough preps. That's the way I look at it. You can never have enough. But if you have your basic needs covered, you have a way to generate power, whether it's battery packs, generators, um, if you have all your food and your medical that you can survive for two or three weeks without any, uh, any help or anything else, you have a way to cook, way to purify water, you have first aid kits, you're on the right track. Just remember that. It all boils down to you. And we are going to start doing videos again. I will have another video coming out soon and we're going to be talking about some of the things that we need to be doing in some particular way that you could really help yourself out that I have done personally that will really make a difference in your own lives. But for now, I'm Survival Preparedness for Beginners. I hope all of you stay safe, keep prepping. And please keep all these people in your prayers because they're going to need everything that we can give them as far as praying. And if you are able to help in any way, if you're around some of those areas and you weren't affected, maybe you should reach out and maybe try to help some friends, family, whoever. Be a good prepper. Don't be a stingy prepper. Till next time. I'll catch all of you on the flip side.